All right, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a render. Open up Roblox Studio. Then you're gonna to wanna to select a base plate. And from here, we're gonna select this spawn point and we're gonna to wanna to remove it with the right click. Cut. And what we're gonna be using is the Load Character Plugin by Already Pro. And if you don't have it, you go to your toolbox, select plugins, and you type in the character. And it should be this one right here, it's free. So you can go ahead and use it. Ever since I was a jit, I was a jit. So from here, we're going to click your avatar with the left click, go over here, right click, and then you scroll all the way down to export selection and then press save. Okay, that's to save your character. To save the hats, you're going to hold control and select like the blue wizard icon, select all of those, right click, export selection, and then we're just going to save this as um, character accessory. That's all from the Roblox Studio side of the tutorial. So now we can open up Blender. Yeah! I bet once you've opened up Paint Rig V3, press this little file icon right here and then press handle one underscore diff PNG and then press open image. Wow. So here we have our character, you know, head looking squeaky clean. So to add your accessories, you want to hit file, import, and then wave front OBJ. And then here you have your accessories loaded up. Just click that and then import it. Um, for some reason, your accessories may spawn like over here. Um, I don't know. Why is that gray? Hello? For some reason, this accessory is just grayed out and it doesn't want to become red. So if you have this issue, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. So to move all your accessories to your character's head, just left click and drag all the way down. Select those. Press G and then press Y and then move them back. Then you press G, X and then just move it along. And then basically just do this until like it's perfectly you know, sitting on his head. Once you have everything organized, select all of your accessories by holding control and left click. And then what you want to do is partner it with this as well. And then press control P and you press object. This parents all of the accessories to the character so that when you put it in pose mode, it doesn't fly off or anything, it will look weird. So now for the fun part, we are going to go down here and go from object mode to pose mode. And as you can see, these rectangles now light up. And if you select one of them and let's say we click rotate, we can now bend it to our liking. Any adjustments we make, the character will move and yeah. Cool. So now we need to get some lighting and some other cool stuff. So press the plus icon, you go to sculpting, and then you press shading. So now that we are here, we go to object, we go to world, and it will bring up these two things right here. We want to zoom in and actually left click to deselect both of them. Click the green one, press X, get rid of it, dead. You want to click add, then you want to go to texture, and you want to press environment texture. And you just want to leave that over here. So now we're going to left click, hold, and then bring the color to the surface. Once you have done that, you're going to press this here, viewport shading. And as you can see, everything is pink and we're going to fix this immediately. But if you have this pink screen, it means you have done everything correctly. So you're going to come to this website called Polyhaven, scroll down, press browse HDRIs. And from here, you can select anything you want. There's a variety of backgrounds that you could use for the lighting. Just choose whichever one that appeals the most to you. Once you have chosen your desired background, you want to press open, and then you're going to press the one that you downloaded, and then press enter. As you can see, my background has now changed and the lighting looks great. Right, now that you have your background, we are going to press film all the way down here, and we are going to press transparent so that in our final render, everything is perfect. So far so good. So now that we are going to go back to the default screen and we need to add a camera. So to add the camera, put your thing back in object mode and then we're going to press add and then we press camera, wherever the camera is. Here we go. So the camera's really fiddly. This is the worst part of the tutorial. You just move it around until it's literally perfect. And um, you just move it up and down, just like the accessories, how we did it before. And to check if your camera is in your desired position, you press zero. And as you can see here, it's not in the place I would like to. So I'm just gonna mess around with it for a bit. Cool. 
quick tip if you actually hit the camera icon right here you can change the camera um, angles and everything you just mess around with it wherever you like oh and another tip if you press zero and then select this outline right here if you press G you can move around to your liking yeah so I think I'm happy with the results right now it looks decent it's nothing too crazy so now that I'm finally finished I can press render and I can press render image and here is your render it looks pretty good um if your accessories are greater I'm sorry I'm not sure how to fix that but yeah that is how you make a blender render